it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So this is another special request. It's part of the same one from yesterday. Um, we did Elsa, we're now doing Anna. So the Elsa was at 30 inches, so let's change this to 30 inches as well. And let's see what we have. All right, so <clears throat> in case you missed it, I um, since the latest update with Design Space, with off the mat and zooming in and out, um, I was having issues. So go to your um, the three dots over here and go to settings. And then you wanna change it to classic. And that was the only way that I was able to do this. Uh, it was maddening. I uninstalled it, reinstalled it, um, tried to do the video like 10 times and it wouldn't work. So anyway, I just wanted to point that out in case you need to. Um, all right, so 30 inches. Let's zoom out for a second and let's see what we have. Um, let's just get started. Let's ungroup it um and let's start separating by colors okay so first thing is her little headband right it's there's all this empty space it's showing as one image the purple is all one thing so we're going to separate this by slicing so let's bring in our square and make it really big when you're slicing whatever piece that you're removing from everything else needs to be completely in your square and only that piece in your square okay so like for instance this right here that's completely covered here we're going to grab these two items and slice and then you'll see that this little piece now is separated from the rest okay now we'll do this piece right here. This is open as long as you don't have something like this. So do you see how the purple's peeking through? You wanna make sure that whatever piece you have is completely covered within that square and then we'll slice these two items. You can only slice two items at one time. So if you accidentally, your cursor picked up three items, your slicing is gonna be grayed out. If you only somehow pick just one item, it will also be grayed out. All right, so now our purple pieces are done. Let's look at our hair. Oh no, this is our red piece. Okay, so our red piece, we may have a problem. This is all one big piece, right? Let me put this back and see what we have here. It doesn't look like it needs to be one gigantic piece because we can slice it right here if we need to. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure I see Saw, wait, hold on, let's bring this back. Let me see where it is that we can slice. Um, so right here. Um, it's so hard to see. Okay, you know what? Let's separate out this piece and then we'll deal with that in a minute. Um, all right, so let's get this V out of the way and slice, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so I was super excited to do Elsa because she's 30 inches and we used some really cool tools to make her seamless. So she would not have been seamless, so you need to watch that one to learn all the tips and tricks. Okay, um, this one, let's see, it is, let's get rid of those, well not get rid of it, but you know what I mean. Let's remove, slice out those pieces right there. Okay, and then slice out that little piece right there. And then let's see what we have left. Okay, we have this piece that's really, really long. Okay, let's remove these little guys. We can delete the slice results and then these little pieces will just move up. All right, so this is tricky. This, let's move this back and see what we have here. So, 
this little trim is long. That's the only thing. Um, all right, so this is one, I'm kidding, this is one piece. One, two, three, four, five, five pieces. So let's use contour to separate out these pieces. So here's two, three, four, five. So similar to slicing, contouring is great for this because these pieces are so close together, it's gonna to be hard to isolate them with our square. So let's go to contour and hide all. It's gonna leave us the trim. <clears throat> so here's the trim. The trim is 15 inches by nine. It's long. Yeah, we're gonna have to slice it. I would slice it like right here. So it's barely gonna be noticeable. Um, we could even do something like right here. We'll take it in. You know, that's a really good spot right there. It's at a diagonal and you're not even gonna notice it. So let's grab these two items and slice. And I'll zoom in so that you could so you could see it. If you're using a purple glitter, you are not gonna be able to notice this at all. So you see there's our piece. It's gonna be like this. You're not gonna notice it at all. You'll piece it back together and it's gonna look amazing. Okay, so here's that piece. Let's go to this piece. And sorry, I'll zoom back out. Okay, so we have our trim. Let's go to here. Um, let's hide all. Okay, we're gonna leave that piece and that piece. We don't want this piece. And then we need all those little cutouts. So where are all those little pieces? These little pieces right here. Okay. So here's the, oops, here's this little piece of the jacket. <laughs> Let's go to the next piece. Um, contour. Hide all. I want this piece. I don't want this piece. So there's our little piece right there. Let's go to the next piece. Contour. Hide all. I want this piece. I don't want this trim. So here's our other little piece, and then we're left with these two pieces. All right, so let's go to contour. Hide all, I want this piece and that piece. I don't want the trim, but I also want the little cutout. So let's go down here, it's these little guys. I think that's it. Okay, all right, so let's zoom out. Go over here, see what we have. Um, okay, this. Let's get, let's start slicing out some things. Let's go to her hat, the, her hood. Okay, let's grab these two pieces and slice. And we can get rid of the slice results. So this hat is, her hood is 6.5 by 8.6. It's fine. Let's get, can we get those two pieces in? All right, <laughs> I was trying. So this is two pieces, so let's duplicate it and go to contour. So that leaves us the bottom part of the cape which we knew was gonna to be too big, right? And then let's get this little piece here. Let's go to contour and get rid of this, which leaves us the top piece. So here's our top piece. Here's this piece. So this piece, um, let's slice it. Let's see, this goes here. Let's bring that arranged center to the front so we can see what we have. So sorry, let's zoom in for a second. All right, so we have this piece right here that goes like this, right? Yeah, so let's slice it right here. Right here. Um, let's bring in a square. And if we slice it right here, the trim is gonna cover it. We won't even see the seam. 
So let's rotate this square a little bit. Oops, or this piece, that's fine. And make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so we'll slice these two items right here. And then I'm gonna move this out of the way and this. I'm gonna bring this back in so that you can see. So here's our little slice. And let's rotate this, oops. Go to arrange and send to the front so that we could see it. And you see our slices right here? You're not even gonna see it. All right, so now we have this piece is 6.3 by nine. This piece might be a little bit, oh no, it's perfect. Yes, 10.5 by 11.6. It's gonna be a little bit wide. You just need to rotate this a little bit. Um, nope, rotate it this way maybe. Yeah, so 11.4 by 10.5. Yes, everything is gonna look amazing. So let's get rid of this. Okay, all right, so what do we have left? We have, she's gonna be seamless because her, the biggest thing was her big jacket, but we got that to work. So she's gonna look amazing just like Elsa. All right, so let's move that. Let's look at her hair. So her hair is in a couple pieces. Let's do the bangs. Okay, I'm gonna grab these two pieces and slice. Okay, great. So her, her bangs are um, 10.8 by 6.5, so great. This is a little long, but let's see. So we're gonna rotate this so that we can slice out the braid. That looks good. All right, I'm gonna slice it this way. So you see my cursor? Oh, my cursor picked up more than two items. Yeah, there's too much. Okay, so let me move this down a little bit. Okay, I see. Okay, let's grab this and slice these two items. Okay, so her hair is 17 inches long. Let's see this one. This one is fine. This one it's long, huh? 8.3 8 inch, inches. All right, let's see if this one, if we did it diagonally, would it, it's still too long. Um, I wonder if we separated that. So let's duplicate this and go to contour. Okay, so here's our long braid. And then let's, that little piece we need. So let's contour remove the big piece of hair. All right, so let's look at this piece. This piece is 11.2 by 12.8. Let's see if we rotate it a little bit more. No, it's just a little bit too big. All right, so this is what we can do. Let's slice it right here. That's, let's make that look good. Um, let's zoom in so we can really see it and make it look amazing. And then let's go to text. So you're gonna need this if you don't have it. It's I Love Glitter. It's from Defont. So D, D as in dog, A-F-O-N-T, okay? What you want is you want the square bracket. It's the key to the right of the letter P. And it's gonna look like this. So it's a little glyph. It gives us just enough curve to make the hair look really good when we cut it. So let's go over to our hair. Where is our hair? Sorry, let me zoom out and find our hair. Oh, there it is, okay. 
and then let's zoom in to make sure that we have a really good cut of the hair. So you see how it's kind of thin? So let's make this thinner so it kind of matches that width. And then let's do this. So you see how it's matching, almost matching. It's matching that natural curve right here. So I'm gonna grab these two items and I'm gonna slice and let's see what this hair looks like. Now keep in mind that this piece was already separated. Um, oh my gosh, that looks so good. That looks like it's natural, right? Like it. Why wouldn't the braid be in a couple pieces? That looks so good. All right. <laughs> it's gonna be a seamless project. I love it. Let's duplicate this so we can separate it into two pieces. Let's go to contour. We want the bottom piece. So our bottom piece is two inches by six inches. Our top piece, that's contour. Get rid of the top piece. Oops, did I not hit contour? Okay. Um, get rid of the bottom because I need the top. And this piece is 4.6 by 12.5, but let's just rotate it. Eight inches by 10 inches. Yes, on a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock, it's gonna look so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so thrilled with this project. Okay, let's delete this square. We don't need the square. Let's zoom out. Let's see what we have left. I think we just have the face, okay. So here, oh, her eyes. You'll wanna separate that. Um, we'll wanna separate this as well. So let's grab a square and start slicing away. Let's see, her lips are good, right? So we wanna slice this apart with the white and then let's look at her face for a second. Her face, what you wanna do is you wanna duplicate it You're gonna change that one to black, oops. Change the color to black. Because what we're gonna do is, and go to contour, we're gonna hide all. So, and put this face in, send to the front. So what's happening here is if there were any seams running through the eyes or through the mouth, we will now have this black piece covering the seams, so you're not gonna see the seams at all. This over here is not covered because it's not an enclosed area. So we're gonna work on that right now to make it enclosed, to make it look really, really good. So let's um, bring in a circle. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, let's zoom in so that we can really make this look good. So what we want to do is let's duplicate this. We need to close it right here so that we can work with the eyebrows. So make this really, really, really small. And we're just going to put that circle right at the edge. It's going to look really, really good because no one's even going to know that it shouldn't be enclosed, okay? And then this one, also make it smaller. It's easier to work with it when it's smaller. We're going to put it like right... Let's unlock that shape and make it more elongated, okay. Okay, ready? You're gonna grab the two circles and the black and weld it. Then we're gonna grab this and contour and hide all. So now you have a completely full black face. Arrange, send to the back. So now, if you have any slices going down the eyes, it's gonna sit like this. And no one's gonna notice any seams. Even though you have the teeth and the lips and the eyes, right? There's still space. And your focus is gonna be right to the face because they, you know, the princesses have such cute faces and 
that's like the centerpiece, right? So when you look at it, you don't want to see a seam running through the eyes or through the mouth. This way you won't see it at all. I mean, she's going to look so fabulous. I can't. Her and Elsa, oh my gosh, they look so good. Um, okay, we only have a few more things to do. So let me, um, let's just move all these pieces out of the way. Clear our minds and our spaces. <laughs> I'm just moving it over. Let's make this square a little bit bigger because we need to slice out all those pieces, right? So let's slice out starting with the white right here. Let's grab these two pieces and slice. And the reason why we do this is one, it was too big. It wasn't going to cut with the Cricut, right? Um, it was going to give us an error, but we also want to be um, kind of efficient, right? Um, I like to see my scraps, um, especially because I use, oh, what just happened here? What did I do? Let me undo that. I think I was talking and I hit weld instead of slice. Um, so I use, oh, it didn't let me slice. That's why. Let me see. I have too much going on here. Okay, let's move this over here. Okay. Um, I use a lot of glitter cardstock, so I save my scraps and reuse them. And these are little pieces. You could use scraps on these. Um, okay, for now, I'm not going to slice out the rest of these. Technically, you could cut it on the Cricut like this. It's 10 inches by nine. I, you know, if I were to do this piece, I would slice it all out, but I'm not going to make you go through that exercise with me. Same thing with the eyes, okay? Let's start building our squares so that we can slice this big image. It's the last thing that we have left. So right now it's 16 and a half inches by 30 inches, right? So it's too big. So let's bring in our squares. And our first one is here. We want to make it 11 by 11. Technically, you cut by 11 and a half by 11 and a half, right? But um, I don't like dealing with half inches. So put this first square just anywhere here. We're going to round to the nearest whole number with our position feature. So 13.3 becomes 13. It's already at 2, so it's fine. So what we're saying is your x coordinate is the one running across. Go over 13 units, go down 2 units. Here's the beginning of our square. Duplicate the square. And we're going to put it right up next to it because we're basically cutting this up like a puzzle. So we want this one to be flushed with this one. Go and round to the nearest whole number. 24.1 becomes 24. 2.056 becomes 2. We now have two flush squares. Hit your shift key on your keyboard. Grab your second square over here and you'll see they're both highlighted, right? So now we're gonna duplicate because we have a set of flush squares. We're gonna duplicate that set here, put it really close, and then you can just round. 12.9 becomes 13, 13.3 13 becomes 13. We're gonna duplicate that set, <clears throat> excuse me, and put it down here. And then this becomes 12.9 becomes 13, 24.2 becomes 24. Then, so we have our six squares completely flushed. Scroll over here to get to Anna, and here she is. We're going to arrange, send to the front, and you just want to make sure, I'm going to zoom in right now, that we're not cutting off like the way we have it, because let me show you why. Her little bang, this little piece right here is going to be hanging off by itself. We don't want that. We want big pieces, okay? So let's move this up. That's much better. So now this little piece is connected to this piece. This is one giant piece, one big piece here. Let's look some more. And in fact, I think we could probably, this midsection, let's see if we could do this. Let's get, let's move this for now. Okay, I'm going to move it over. And let's grab this one and just hit your arrow key and move it over. I'm going to zoom out for a second. And let's see what we have. If we don't have to cut it into two pieces, let's not. Right? So let me move this guy over. 
And I don't mean to make this complicated, but the less pieces you have, the better. So let me see. Because everything is on a whole number, we can move this and it'll be easy. Oh, no, we can't. See, this piece is too big. Okay, so we can move this here. No, that's not good. All right, let me just move. Oops, shoot. Undo that. Let me zoom back out. Ignore what I just did. <laughs> okay, what I'm gonna do is, let me just move her for a second. I'm gonna delete this and this one. And that's kind of, you know, it's partially why I like doing it this way too. Grab those two and just duplicate. It's easy to go back because everything's on a whole number. It's on a grid, right? So this becomes 13 and 13. We can just move her right back. Okay. So let's arrange, send it to the front. Okay, we did want this all the way up though because we wanted her hair. So let's zoom in to make sure we're still good. Okay, so she's good there. Um, here, let's see. See, I don't, this is gonna cut off, but you know what we could do? And I'm sorry, <laughs> let's rotate her just a little bit and see if we get better results. So, Maybe something like this. So this is a big piece, this is a big piece. This is all connected. I like this much more. Okay, so let's zoom out. And we're gonna slice one square and the image at a time. So we're slicing all the way around. So we're taking a 30 inch solid black piece and cutting it into six pieces that your Cricut can cut. And then what's nice is because it's on a grid like this, all you have to do is push up the squares and they'll all line up, right? That's why we built this square. We built the squares to make sure that we don't have any over overlays or gaps, right? And let me move the pieces over so you can see it, okay? Um, and we do this also because when you put it back together, I mean, you'll know exactly where it goes. It butts right up to this piece, right? Um, it all lines up and then that helps you um, to hide the seams because they're right up next to each other. It's going to be so close. We tape it together right back like putting a puzzle piece together, right? Okay, so we're done slicing. Let me move everything out of the way. All our slice results, these pieces right here, we can just delete. I'm going to delete that. Okay. So you see, like it's really obvious where this goes, right? It's a straight line. This one comes over, it goes here. And these four corners will kiss each other and you can tape it together. So it's gonna look really, really seamless. So it may seem like a pain in the butt to build those squares, but it's really not that hard. And then also, if you make mistakes, it's easy to undo what you did like I did because everything was on a grid and it was on a whole number it was easy to build back up this is it all right let's go to make it well yeah let's go to the make it screen so I can show you what that looks like all right so just click okay so remember how the white pieces we didn't I didn't um slice it all out right so this is not because this is moving together as one I can't pick up this piece and move it in. So this is why we do what we do because this is much harder to save the scraps. All of these could have been moved up into one little corner and I would have had a big piece of scrap paper that I could reuse next time. Okay, here are the black pieces. Um, hmm. I feel like this piece, click on the three dots move object. I think I can fit it with the face. I could be wrong. Uh, I am wrong. Uh, I'm really wrong. <laughs> Just click on the three dots, move object, we'll move it somewhere else. I'm gonna move it with this piece. Okay, this fits, okay. 
But either way, it deserved, here, I'm gonna move it this way and move this over there. And, oh yeah, hold on. I wanna make sure that I'm not slicing into anything because that's so annoying where you think you're saving paper and then it slices into each other and then you need to redo both. All right, so that looks good. Yep, okay, here's her face. Here's her hair. Okay, her hair, this piece is the long piece, right? So let's tilt it. So if you don't have a 12 by 24 mat, all you need to do is rotate it um, and you can click on the three dots and move it to another page. So let's move this object. Let's pretend you don't have a 12 by 24 mat. So we could put it with this piece. Oh, okay, it needs to be on its own map. Okay, so let's click on this move object because Design Space thinks it's longer than 12 inches, so it needs its own map. So let's click on new. We want it to be this color and it's gonna be on a 12 by 24 map, right? All by itself. But it's not, see, it's 10 inches, it's fine. So this piece over here, the bangs are good. We'll move this piece up. So even though it's showing on a 12 by 24 mat, because you only have um, stuff up here, you can just use a 12 by 12 mat, 12 by 24 piece of cardstock, and you're good with that. This one, let's move this piece, move object, and we can move it with the bangs. Um, can move it like this. All right, so you have this one. Here are the eyes, because I didn't move it, right? I didn't slice it apart, so it's gonna cut like this. Here's her headband, but see this we can move up. And this is much more usable space for next time. Here's the hood, or the purple. So let's move this up. Let's make sure this fits, right? This can go up here. So design space is starting to act glitchy because it this didn't all even fit on one page. And then here are all these pieces. So we can try to move these to the other page. <clears throat> here is her cape. And her cape is, I mean, I guess we can move it a little bit like this and move it up. Yeah, see that gives you a lot of space. And then all these pieces you can move either to another mat or you can use a 12 by 24 mat with two 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock, okay? All right, same thing here. All right, here's her big hair, but it doesn't need to be on a 12 by 24 mat, right? That's it. Anna and Elsa are gonna look Fabulous at 30 inches, totally seamless. I mean, no one's gonna, they're gonna be blown away. All right, I'm so happy to have done this project. Let me know what you think. Did I, you know, gloss over something? You wanna hear it again on another project? Give me your feedback, please. And then if you have a special request like this person, just reach out and let me know. Uh, if you need to send me files, it's an, an, at the uselesscrafter.com. All right, see you guys next time.